steal this cat and you'll be punished with death. Yes, death. Curious to know what I'm talking about? Keep watching. It's August 8th and we're celebrating one of the most popular pets worldwide. The beloved and independent cat. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you all about the royal cow money cat and how stealing it resulted in an actual death penalty. Then, we'll talk about the cat woman. No, not the superhero, but the women with over 1,000 cats. What a paradise for cat lovers. Let's dive right in. Say hello to cow money also known as the Diamond Eye Cat. It's a rare breed from Thailand, and its ancestry can be traced back to centuries ago. King Chulalongkorn, the fifth monarch of Siam under the House of Chakri, owned nine cow money cats, which is why this breed is also considered the royal cat of Siam. And legend has it that penalty under King Chulalongkorn for stealing a cow money was death. You know how stores have a no questions asked return policy? This was a no questions asked death policy. Cow monies are usually born with two blue eyes, or one blue and the other green or amber. Two different colored eyes on a pure white cat. Wow, that would look so royal and elegant. You've probably heard of the Siamese cats, one of the most distinctly recognized Asian cats. But better not confuse our royal cow money with the Siamese. Both cats are white in color and have a common background, but they have entirely different genetic structures, bloodlines, and breeding policies. Cow monies are slightly smaller than Siamese cats and shed much less than them. And unlike Siamese cats, one of the most intelligent, responsive, and obedient cats. Cow monies know they're royal and they don't give a shit. They are one of the least responsive, most stubborn, and hard to train cat breeds. But they are very affectionate, unlike Sphinx cats or Burmese cats, who, well, let's just say it's very particular about what they like and what they don't like. Now, let's talk about the question that's on both of our minds, the cost and availability of cow money cats. They are one of the rarest feline breeds in the world. The average price for an adult cow money with gold eyes and physical defects like deafness, non-white spots or something like that costs around $1,800. And young cow monies coming directly from prestigious breeders in the West with beautiful characteristics go as high as $3,500. And that's not even the highest. If you were to get a cow money with the singular eye color or any other of its super rare features, you would have to pay a whopping $10,000. A quick side note, I'm only giving information freely available on the internet and none of what I'm saying is intended to promote malpractices with animal or illegal breeding. Now that I've clarified that, let's get back to what I was saying. $10,000 for a cat. I mean, look at them. They're cute, but are they $10,000 cute? Definitely not for me. And if I was trying to be like Linnea Lutanzio and keep 1,000 cats, I'd never be able to afford a cow money in my wildest dreams. Based in California, Linnea Lutanzio, the 74-year-old crazy cat lady, lives with 800 adult cats and 300 kittens. And don't worry, she's not going around splurging on expensive cats like the cow money. Every single cat and kitten she's ever taken in was either feral or abandoned. And how does she fit 1,000 cats in her home? She has a six-acre land where they're allowed to roam freely. In fact, she gave up her five-bedroom home to live in a trailer so that her 1,000 cats could live in her home. I'm just mind blown as to why she's even doing this. And if you're wondering that too, let me tell you exactly why. Mrs. Lutanzio started fostering cats in 1992. She acquired 96 cats by the end of the year and also successfully got each one of them adopted. Then, in 1993, she became a veterinary technician to help bring medical costs for animal treatments down. And by 2016, she established the Cat House on the Kings, which is her home, and California's largest no-cage, no-kill sanctuary for feral and abandoned cats. In an interview, she mentions 
that when she moved to the trailer home, she had promised herself to keep it free of pets. But she has about 20 kittens and four puppies in there as well. In her own words, you can take the woman out of the shelter, but you can't take the shelter out of the woman. If you're a cat parent, make sure you give your cat some extra treats today, because today is all about cats. And as for me, I like cats, but I'm also scared of them. Sometimes they're really possessive of their personal space, so I like to keep my distance. Another thing I like to keep my distance from is the ocean. I mean, have you heard the stories about sea serpents and underwater dragons? Yeah, some people actually saw them and caught it on camera. It's super freaky. And if you're up for the scary adventure, then check out this next video on National Sea Serpent Day right away. Make sure you are subscribed to Behind the Date, where we uncover insane and mind-blowing stories behind each day. See you later. I'm off to see where the sea serpents are actually coming for us, or if they're just a myth.